don't know what I know. So I'm going to talk to you. I'm jealous because it shouldn't. Man, just make it icy. Count one, two, three. And don't you stop the music getting to it. Won't you dance with me? Find a place and lose it. You can do it. Won't you dance with me? Move your f***. Downtown, we let go. Sunset high and I'm ready to go. Hey y'all, what is up? It is Marissa Nicole and welcome back to my channel. This week we're talking all about sororities, I guess. Because yesterday I posted my sorority Q&A video. If you have not seen it yet, I will post it up above and down below. And today we're talking all about what it's like to live in a sorority house. Because of my Q&A video, I had tons of questions about this topic, period. And I was already planning on filming it anyways. And so I did kind of want to tie it in close to the Q&A video just in case I didn't answer your question about living in the house. Hopefully I do today. Before we dive into the video, a little background on me. I am a student at The Ohio State University. I I am in a sorority here on campus, so I can talk to you about what it's like to live in the house because I just lived there last year and absolutely loved it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing down below. I do tons of videos, usually about college stuff or sorority life, hauls, DIYs, and we do all of those on Mondays and Wednesdays, and then always a little nice vlog surprise on Fridays, and so definitely subscribe and come and hang out. So today I'm going to be giving you eight pros and eight cons of living in a sorority house. That way you get a full picture of what it's really like to live in a sorority house. What, what are you expecting, especially if you're about to live in one just now in the fall, or maybe if you're about to go through recruitment, what are you gonna have to look forward to? I got you covered. The good positive person in me always likes to start with the cons first, that way we end on a positive note with all of the pros. So let's go through our cons. <laughs> one of the biggest things that I ran into living on campus was FOMO, and that's definitely fear of missing out. You are surrounded by friends and girls 100% of the time. They're going to be doing something all the time, and you have to probably miss out on most of it, if not all of it, because of other things that you have going on. If everybody's about to have a movie night downstairs but you need to write a paper you're gonna hate that but you're gonna have to do it and I think that's what I struggled with because there was just so much going on that I felt like I couldn't be at every place at all times and then I felt like I was missing out or I felt like I wasn't hanging out with people and then I felt like I wasn't doing my best or something I don't know I just definitely struggled with that I think that's definitely a con but it's also kind of a good thing because that just means there's tons of things to do while you're living in a sorority house and because there's so many things to do there's so many people living in the house that it's usually quite loud in the house there are supposed to be like quiet hours more than likely we have quiet hours in our house but it's never quiet there's people all the time up doing something because everybody's different there's night owls there's morning persons and so the night owls always hang out together and can be super loud at some point and sometimes the day people are up being loud all day and so it's hard to get quiet time sometimes in a sorority house depending on where you're at you may have to go down to the basement or go down to some study room or lock yourself in the corner of your room or something but I can just assure you that there's gonna be stuff going on all the time and it can get quite loud if you've lived on campus before this con is not new to you and that is community bathrooms. You are gonna have to share a bathroom in the sorority house. Every room does not come with its own bathroom. If yours does, I'm jealous because it shouldn't. There'll probably be a couple bathrooms on each floor that all the girls will share and typically they're a lot cleaner than the dorms because you're more than likely having a cleaning service come through and clean them but it's still inconvenient to share a bathroom because are you gonna have to wait in line to use the shower? If you're gonna have to go number two and there's other people in the bathroom, like there's just, communal bathrooms are never good, okay? It's always gonna be a con, in my book at least. Again, if you've lived in the dorm, this is not new to you, but you're probably gonna have roommates. There are probably single rooms in your sorority house, but if you're about to live in there for the first time, you're probably not gonna get one because they're gonna go to the upperclassmen more than likely. So you're gonna have to live with roommates again. And I just lived in a quad. I loved living with roommates, but if you're not into that, it definitely could be a con. Depending on how big the rooms are in the sorority house, you're gonna have to still live with people and share a space. This next con, I cannot say for sure across all boards, across all every sorority, at every chapter, every school, I can't say. But historically speaking, and with some of the sororities I've heard of, you can't have certain guests over if you know what I mean. And so that can be inconvenient, I guess, to you or a con. I don't know. It depends on who you are and what you like and what you dislike. But you may not be able to have certain friends over during certain times of the day or even period. I know some houses don't let boys in at all and so that's definitely something new because obviously in the dorms you can typically have guys over in the room if you want to that's you and your roommates prerogative but your sorority house may have guidelines that bar guys from coming over period or guys from spending the night or just different kind of regulations and so that's definitely something new to live with <laughs> or without y'all know me and y'all know I'm always thinking about money and how I'm gonna save money or how much something costs and a con for me is how much it costs to live in the sorority house it is expensive almost comparable to living on campus in the dorms which is also expensive so it depends on how much money you're planning on spending while being in a sorority but it's gonna it's gonna cost you a pretty penny to live in that nice beautiful house and some sororities actually have regulations of how many years you have to live in so look into that because if you're like oh well I'll join and just never live in you may have to so 
be on the lookout for that. This next con is more so of just like a con of embarrassment and like a con of inconvenience. Let's say you're out with your girls and you come home a little drunk. It may just be embarrassing and inconvenient to have to come home to the house because there's gonna be tons of girls sleeping in the same house. It's not the same as a dorm that you're gonna have to be really quiet and it may be hard for you to be quiet. Or let's say you're getting sick. I've heard some stories of girls, you know, getting sick in the bathrooms and then obviously just passing out in the bathrooms and other sisters wake up to find them and it's kind of like, <laughs> what, what's going on? Or they get sick and they go back to their rooms and then other girls find the throw up all over the place. Like it's kind of inconvenient, but that also happens in the dorms. But it also is just kind of embarrassing because if something happens, then like that's all your sisters that know. When in the dorms, it's kind of like, I don't really care who knows because I don't like any of these people. But these are all your sisters and they all know that you threw up all over yourself and now you're passed out in the bathroom. <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen to you, but it could be a con. And the last con you're gonna have anywhere, but I feel like it's so heightened in a sorority house because there's like 30 to 60 girls living in one house and it's the drama. Eventually people are going to get catty. Eventually people are gonna get on people's nerves and that's going to happen living in a close space. But just having sorority girls all together, man, does it get feisty and does it get uncomfortable and does it get mean? Sometimes. That's a con, of course. It's not like that all the time and maybe it's not like that at every chapter or in every house. But just be prepared to have any big group of girls together. You're gonna probably fight a little bit, okay? So just, just be prepared for that. That was my last con. So now I get to move on to the fun stuff, which is the pros, which are my favorite parts of living in the house and why I wish I was still living in the house even though I'm not. One being you get to live with literally all of your best friends and your literal sisters, okay? That's the fun part because living in the dorms, you're stuck with people that you don't know, that you don't like, you don't wanna live with, that you don't wanna be on the same floor with, that you've probably never seen a day in your life. But everybody in this sorority has you know and your sisters with and you hopefully like them or at least if you don't like them, you respect them, okay? Be nice to everybody point blank. But I think that was the most fun thing is that I could just walk out of my room and anybody I saw in the hallway I know and I can say hi to and I have a personal connection with. Well, in the dorms if I'm walking by someone and I'm like, do they even live on my floor? Do I know them? Like, I have no idea. And I like that personal connection of living in the house with all of my sisters. Two, living in the house is so convenient. I hated not living in the house because when we would have events at the house, I'd have to walk all the way from campus to the house or potentially from like my apartment to the house. And it was just so inconvenient because I just wasn't there. But when I lived in the house, it was amazing because all I had to do was come downstairs from my room to the chapter room and I was there for chapter and then when we had to like dress up for some sort of ritual or some sort of something and then I could walk right back up to my room change and then come back down and be ready for the next thing it was just so convenient to be where everything was and not having to commute to where everything was happening as I was already there and that was so convenient and time-saving for me a lot of people know that this is a thing and somebody asked about it in my Q&A video but one of the pros is that you probably again I can't speak for every sorority at every school but you probably will get a personal chef if you have a house and if you're living in the house they'll cook you all your your meals and it's great. The convenience of having that is amazing. The price of having that is not, but you do get a chef to make you breakfast, lunch, and dinner most likely. And that's of course, you know, a little bougie, you like feeling a little fancy every now and again. What's really cool about living in the sorority house is that there's probably a lot of other sorority houses around you. They typically like to throw all the houses near each other. And so I loved being around other Greek life because then when a sorority was having an event and I was walking to class, I could see it on their front lawn and I knew it was happening and I wasn't like excluded or out of the know of anything happening. I felt like I was so in tuned with Greek life because I was around Greek life 24 seven. And I absolutely loved that. I always knew when sorority events were happening or other fraternities were having events. I could see their banners of when something would be coming up in the future. Like I just felt so informed <laughs> living in my sorority house because I was near everything else that was having to do with Greek life. This next one, y'all know all too well, probably not because you've lived in it, but just because you've seen it. And that's with these big, beautiful houses. That is such a pro. Like I don't, they're so gorgeous and I'm so jealous that I'm not living in one of them. I just want one of those like Greek houses to be my house. Like, I don't know. I would wouldn't ever need 60 rooms, but like, dang, they're gorgeous. And I just think that's amazing to be like, yeah, that's my house. And like take pictures in front of it and just be like, mm, 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 that's my house. I just think that's so cool. Another cool thing about living in the house or just like being in the house is that it's fully furnished. So when you walk in, you know, like the living room is furnished, the dining room is furnished. You don't have to bring any of that stuff. It's usually gorgeous furniture, gorgeous architecture, gorgeous everything. And even your rooms are typically furnished with like a bed and a mattress, a desk, a dresser or something. And you just have to bring it stuff to decorate it like you would in the dorm. But that's just amazing to me because because it's more homey feeling than a dorm because you have like a living room and a, you know a dining room where you can eat and just little stuff like that that you don't get in a dorm but you still get the fully furnished aspect of a dorm and I really liked that. One of the cool things about Greek life at OSU at least is that when you live in a sorority house or live in a Greek house you're still considered living on campus even though you're off campus and so I know I talked about this in some of my other OSU related videos but there's a lot of perks that you get from living on campus and that could be you know like scholarship opportunities or money 
learning opportunities or even just event opportunities, you're still able to participate in those or take advantage of those while living in the Greek houses because Greek life is a part of the university. So living in their house is like living on campus for the university. And I thought that was really cool because I could take advantage of the things that I liked about freshman year in my sorority house. And OSU does have a two year live-in requirement for freshmen and sophomores, but a Greek house counts for one of those. So if you live in the dorms your freshman year and then you join a sorority, you can live in this house the second year and be able to still complete that requirement while really not living in the dorms. So you get to like finesse the system a little bit. And the last thing that I really liked about living in the house is having parking that I didn't have to pay too much for. I've told you guys this before, but when I bought a parking pass on campus, it literally cost me $800 to park on campus for a school year. Not the academic, like not the year year, but the school year was $800. Now to park in my sorority house, it was free. I just got a parking spot when I lived in. It was amazing. And you also have laundry available for you that you don't have to pay for in the sorority house, more than likely. I don't see why you wouldn't, but I guess I can't speak for every house. <laughs> we have a laundry room downstairs that has like four or five washers and dryers that you can just use. When you lived in the dorm, you had to like use your buck ID card or something to pay for laundry, but you don't have to pay for parking and you don't have to pay for laundry in the sorority house. Love not having to pay for things. Now, of course, those are not all the pros ever. I could list probably 30,000 more, but those are my key topics that I absolutely loved about living in the house. If you've lived in a sorority house and you're just kind of checking this out just for, you know, fun, let me know down below what your favorite part about living in the house was. I'm always curious about like what different Greek houses were like or like what, what is so cool about Greek life everywhere else because of course I only know it at my school but I absolutely loved it and I wish I was doing it again but I am moving into an apartment this fall off campus but I'm living with still my sorority sisters I'm living with two other roommates in my sorority but we're just getting an apartment instead of living in the house just because it's a little cheaper but yeah if you learned something new or you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below if you are new to my channel come and hang out every Monday Wednesday and Friday with us and like I mentioned in the beginning of the video if you haven't seen it yet watch my sorority Q&A video if you'd like to know a little bit more about sorority life and I also have a whole playlist of just all of my sorority videos that I'll link down below because those are tons of fun if you just want to get more Greek life in your life. But thank you so much for watching guys. Bye!